We're talking with the Reverend Snow Peabody, Executive State Director, Teen Challenge of Arizona, TCAZ.org. That brings us to Prop 205, my yes. friend. So um, here, you, here you have Teen Challenge of Arizona started in New York uh, over 50 years ago. 58 years 58 ago. 58 years year. ago. 50 years now in the state of Arizona. That's right. And uh, centers all over the world. Right. There's now 1,000 plus centers worldwide. In the United States, there's 250. And dealing with mostly drug and alcohol addiction. Right. And here we are as a state considering whether we should legalize marijuana. Are you crazy? <laughs> Truly. Well, here's something that I uh, always like to point out, and, and some people disagree with this analysis, but I, I you know, I think it's very valid, and, and it really has proven out over the years, of my years of Teen Challenge especially. The majority of those coming into our program, uh, which is a recovery program, it's a, a drug and alcohol abuse recovery program, uh, the gateway drug for them was marijuana. The majority, yeah. and not all, but the majority yeah. was marijuana. Yeah. So given that, I have to believe that, you know, this legalization aspect of what 205 is going to allow in our state is only going to compound the already existing problem that we're, we're seeing today with addiction and increase the, the, the number of people that are going to be needing help uh, and the consequences. I mean, all you have to do is study what's happened in Colorado. Yep. And any rational person should come to the conclusion that this is a bad deal for Arizona. Amen, brother. You're preaching it again. <laughs> well, you're kind of preaching to the choir over here because I've told my story, you know, maybe too many times. I sometimes overshare on the show. But, um, you know, marijuana uh, was a big problem for me in, in mm-hmm. high school and, and even into my early adulthood. And uh, it was mm-hmm. a gateway drug to other drugs. And I didn't go into detail about that. And I'm not planning on it. But uh, just, you know, don't ask me how I know that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it caused a lot of problems for me. And, and I still have a lot of regrets from you know, dropping out of high school, yeah. um, still got my diploma, but I ended up not going to college. The reason why I didn't go to college, yeah. and uh, I'm the guy who who checks some college. <laughs> you know, thanks marijuana. I mean, it's my own fault. It was my own personal choices, and yeah. I, I get that. But um, when you give young people permission, and legalization to me is be, is going to give a lot of young people permission that it's okay. And some of them aren't going to make it. They're, right. they're going to have these same regrets. Well, we're seeing in, in Colorado, again, these statistics are, are valid. These statistics are, are now coming out uh, since they uh, chose to do so uh, a few years ago. And and we're seeing traffic traffic deaths up. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, we're seeing uh, ER uh, issues with uh, young children even going to the ER to get their stomachs pumped because they ate a cookie that was laced with marijuana or uh, some edible. Uh, you know, this is what's coming if, if 205 is voted in. And God help us all if this happens, because this kind of a, um, a proposition can't be just easily uh, changed tomorrow by the legislature. This is a proposition that would it take uh, some doing uh, by another proposition, if you will, to really uh, get rid of it be off the books. Because, you know, people today are, are really so duped into the fact that, well, everybody's smoking marijuana. Everybody's doing it. What's wrong with it? That, that's kind of the attitude you get from people when you discuss this in public settings a lot of times. And the truth of the matter is, is that it is so detrimental. And the people that are, you know, promoting this are, are really not being uh, really truthful in the sense that uh, there's a lot of consequences that are going to be faced by this uh, state and by the people of this state in the days ahead of his passes, uh, financially, uh, morally, uh, socially, uh, all of the above issues are going to develop in our, in our state that is going to compound the already existing drug problem we have.